our topic that is what myself I am engaging in. That is what solid state physics. This is what our DSE one paper, which it is of one fifty marks. So in case of this uh, solid state physics, I am going to take the unit third, which is the magnetic properties of a matter. Okay, this is the unit three. The unit three is magnetic properties of a matter. And coming to the paper that is what physics five or three. This is the code of the DSC for solid state physics. So, my dear students, if we talk about the magnetic properties of matter, whether all the materials are magnetic materials, it is not. Because if I take a bar magnet, if I take a nail, if I bring the nail towards the bar magnet, what it happens? It starts attracting. Why it is attracting? Who is pulling to this to attract the bar magnet? So, to study all these, have first of all have to talk about the microscopically uh, atomic structure. That means inside the atom, how the electrons, nucleus are going to behave inside the atom and is going to attract. That means if it is a bar magnet, surrounding this there is a field which we call it as the magnetic field. Actually, the magnetic field is the area, okay, which an object is going to experience the force. As I told you, this is the bar magnet, this is the nail. As I bring the nail towards the bar magnet, it starts attracting because this bar magnet is surrounded by the magnetic field. Because of that field, it starts the pulling. Therefore, it starts the attracting. That means the first property of the magnet is what the attracting property we call. Okay? If I take the stainless steel, in that case, it is not going to attract by the magnet because that stainless steel does not have any magnetic property to that stainless steel. That is what the material we call. Material is maybe a magnetic material or a non-magnetic material. When we say the magnetic material, when that material is having the magnetic property, that is what we call it as the magnetic material. Which material does not have the magnetic properties, that material we call it as the non-magnetic materials. So, what are those properties? What the material should acquire the properties? If it is having only the attractive property, whether it is a magnetic material, it is not so. So, to understand what type of material is a magnetic material, what type of material is not a magnetic material, some of the properties have to study. These are the basic properties which it is displayed on the board. These are all the basic properties of the magnets. That means the material should have these properties, then only we call it as the material is a magnetic material. So, coming to the uh, first property, that is what a magnet attracts a magnetic material such as iron, cobalt, nickel, steel, etc. So, this type of property which we call it as the attractive property. What all the material it is attracted by the magnet is that is iron, cobalt, nickel and steel. Why not the wood? Why not the stainless steel are attracted? Because of internally atomic properties are totally different. 
that means the magnetic moment of the material should be present that i talk in case of the uh, when we come to the atomic level so it means to understand these uh, magnetic materials you have to uh, go deep to the atomic level that later i talk first i will talk about the properties of the uh, magnets the first property is what the attractive property a magnet which attract by the magnetic materials such as the iron cobalt nickel steel etc this type of property which we call it as the attractive property this is the first property and coming to the second property as i have given you example that uh, bar magnet and a nail when i bring the nail to the bar magnet it starts attracting because of the magnetic fields surrounded by this bar magnet so that it starts pulling okay next coming to the uh, there is second property of the magnet that is what if i take the handle which is this is not and this is soft are when i suspend freely when the bar magnet is made to suspend freely with the handle it starts aligning only towards the north direction okay always the magnet when it is made suspend freely in that case it is going to align towards the north and south direction therefore the second property the magnet should have the directive property that means it tells us about the directions of the magnet when when it is made freely suspension in that case automatically it aligns towards the north direction itself that is all a freely suspended magnet always aligns itself in the north south direction okay this is all the important second uh, properties of the magnet first is over the attractive property next is over it talks about the direction okay that is what the directive property coming to the third property that is what every magnet have always two poles north and south which we call it as the bipolar property as i told you this is our bar magnet this is north pole and this is the south that means so these are the directions of the magnetic field outside the bar magnet in this fashion okay so this is going out and it starts and end with this okay this is about the magnetic field lines pattern we are getting like this okay so what about the inside the magnet this remember inside the magnet the directions of the magnetic field is from south to north so the first property of the magnetic field is that it tells us from where to where the magnetic field lines will travel outside as well as from which pole to which pole the directions of the magnetic field will travel inside the bar magnet okay just remember at the outside from north to south it travel whereas inside the bar magnet from south to north this is the first property which we call as it talks about the directions of the magnetic field travel next is that is what the second property of the magnetic field just remember always that the magnetic field lines are not going to intersect each other for example if i draw about these magnetic field lines if i draw drawing repeatedly 
Okay, in that case, these magnetic field lines are not going to intersect like this. The intersection is not possible, therefore, we call it as the magnetic field lines are not going to intersect anywhere. If you go to the infinity level, in that case, the magnetic field lines can never intersect. This is what the second point of the magnetic field. And here, where is the magnetic field strength is maximum? Okay, just to observe, when I talk about this region, the field lines are very less. Yes, field lines are very less. Whereas, at the end of the bar magnet, at this end of the bar magnet, the magnetic field lines are more. The magnetic field lines are more. Therefore, where the strength of the magnetic field lines is more, at the end of the bar magnet, due to the more presence of the magnetic field lines, it is more strength. Here also, due to the more number of magnetic field lines present in the end of this bar magnet, the strength is more. Whereas, in the case of this region, if I go on drawing like this, Okay, that means the field strength in this region is going to reduce because the field lines are far from our bar magnet. Because of that, the field strength is maximum at the end of the bar magnet. And just to remember that the poles what I am talking, these north pole is not present at the end of this and south pole is not present at the end of this bar magnet. Always it is little bit here. That means and here. Here, now this end is going to present the strength of the bar magnet. That we call it as the pole strength. Pole strength is very important where the pole strength is exist at this point, not at the end of this. And at this point, there is a no pole strength, but at this point, there is a more pole strength. That means, where to where the inside travels, not from end to end, little bit more than the end. Okay? Therefore, here, the magnetic field lines are, uh, magnetic field strength is more at the end of this, whereas the, at this region, the magnetic field strength is very less. This is the properties of the uh, magnetic field. That is what the magnetic field lines can never intersect each other. The second point is what the directions of the magnetic field lines outside travels from north to south, whereas inside it travels from the south to north directions. And the third point, the field strength is maximum at the end of these bar magnet, but not in the this region. That means as we go further. This is our bar magnet. If I fields are here, that field strength is very less because this is. So till now we have studied the properties of the bar magnet, not only the bar magnet, just the magnetic material, and we have studied about the properties of the magnetic field lines. So now we shall talk about the how these materials, that is magnetic materials, are going to attract. It is uh, due to the magnetic moment. What do you mean by the magnetic moment? Where these magnetic moment we are going to observe? As I told you, the material. What do you mean by the material? Material consists of the large number of atoms. Not only one, two atoms. There is a large number of atoms form a solid. That is what the material. So, the each atom should possess the magnetic moment. Like this, there are several number of atoms. The each atom should possess the magnetic moment. We have to get the net magnetic moment of overall material. That we shall talk, which we call it as the atomic scale level. That means at the atomic level, how these atoms are going to behave.
this is what that is what we call the microscopic how we can explain the microscopically the atoms as I told you this is the material these materials are made up of the large number of atoms these are all the this is a material inside the material there are the large number of atoms present here I talk only by considering the one atom so this is our atom ok one atom consists of it consists of nucleus around the nucleus there is an electron what the nucleus consists of again nucleus consists of proton and neutron the combination of proton and neutron which is called as a nucleus the proton has a positive charge neutron has a neutron therefore what is the net charge of the nucleus whether it is positive or negative it is positive because the nucleus consists of proton and neutron what is the charge of the proton that is positive what is the charge of the neutron that is neutral that is called zero charge therefore it remains the positive therefore if anybody asks what is the net charge of the nucleus is always the positive and what is the charge of the electron that is negative due to the Coulomb force okay here around the nucleus there is an electron dipole now my question is where the dipole moment is going to exist in the atom that is what the magnetic moment exists in the atom i am saying well now as we know if there is a charges are flowing is what the flow of charge consider the charges are flowing that is what I mean charges are flowing in this direction the current will down in this direction the direction of the flow of the charge in this whereas the current is going to be in this direction if I use the circular coil Okay, if there is a circular coil carrying the current in this coil, it induces a magnetic moment. Okay, whenever the current flowing in this circular coil, it induces or uh, it get induced what we call the magnetic. spinning on its own axis even though the nucleus present at the center it is spinning on its own axis that is what right this is the nucleus okay which is spinning in this direction on its own axis it is spinning because of this spinning of the nucleus there is a dipole moment exists this is our dipole moment of this spinning nucleus. Here, now coming to the electron, electron will revolve around the nucleus as well as the electron starts spinning on its own axis. The electron will be there and the know it spin on its own axis. Not only that, along with that, it will spin. That means the electron have both momentum that is what the spin as well as the orbital angular momentum therefore here the spinning on its own axis 
how the nucleus is spinning on its own axis in the same way the electron is also having the spinning on its own axis as well as there is an revolving of the electron around the nucleus therefore here the electron is spinning if i say on its own axis so the dipole moment in this direction okay here the directions are dipole moment this is for the revolving of the electron the dipole moment in this direction any direction this is the electron this is what the spinning nucleus this is what the spinning electron on its own axis this is what the revolving revolving electron in this revolving electron the dipole moment in this direction. That means this is our atom, this is our nucleus, this is our spinning of electron, this is our revolving of the electron. So each nucleus develops a magnetic moment, spinning electron develops a magnetic moment, revolving electron develops a magnetic moment. The combination of all these, what will be the net magnetic moment of atom? One atom. That is, if I use this nucleus in this direction, the dipole moment of the nucleus in this direction, the dipole moment of spinning in this direction, the dipole moment of the the revolving electron in this direction, therefore, the net magnetic moment of atom is this. The net magnetic moment, if I the resultant of these dipole uh, magnetic moment, which gives rise to Therefore, if I draw, this is one of the atoms, the dipole moment is in this direction. Any direction, that means the dipole the moment, uh, magnetic moment of the spinning nucleus, the magnetic moment of the spinning electron, the magnetic moment of the revolving electron, the net magnetic moment is this. Therefore, the net resultant magnetic moment of one electron is this. In the same way, what I have explained, the individual atom can have the magnetic moment in this direction. Okay, just to observe, not only the one atom is directing the magnetic moment in this direction, the overall system is having the directional magnetic moment only in one direction. If there is an existence of the magnetic moment only in one direction of the several atoms, it is our good magnetic property. This type of material is having the magnetic property. In another case, If the atoms, the dipole moment of the individual atoms Just to observe, the dipole moment of the first atom in upward direction The dipole moment, the uh, magnetic moment of the second atom in downward direction If I consider the overall system of the magnetic moment, that is what the result in the magnetic moment this material or this system is zero. What is zero? It is the resultant and net magnetic moment of this system is zero because the random directions of the magnetic moment of the individual atoms. Whereas in case of this, the all the atoms is having only the one directions of the magnetic moment because of that they 
is a good planning period. Whereas this is not a good planning material. That is, for example, a good if I pay. It is not a good planning material because it is not going to attract because of these phenomena which is occurring in the atomic layer. That means the electron, the dipole moment, the electron, the magnetic moment are random in direction. They are not being orderly arranged. They are the magnetic moments are random in direction. Individual atoms have the random direction. Because of this, the magnetic moment of this material of this system is zero. Therefore, the hood is not going to attract because of the magnetic moment of that material is zero. Whereas the iron, nickel, cobalt, all these materials are going to attract because they are having the only one magnetic moment of the atom having the same. That means the atoms arranged orderly, not only orderly, even with the magnetic moment are also in the same direction. Because of this, is the good magnetic property. If I talk, what will be the uh, spinning of the electron? What will be the uh, spinning of the nucleus? Revolving of the electron. Mathematically, if I draw right, shall I write this? magnetic moment due to revolving electron it is given by minus e h next the magnetic moment due to spinning electron in the same way the magnetic moment due to spinning nucleus is this is what we have to mention it is nucleus in fact we have to find Mathematically, okay. if I mention the magnetic moment due to the revolving electron is given by minus E times HL divided by H by MC. This is our the magnetic moment of the revolving electron. Here E is the charge of the electron, H is the Planck's constant, L is the orbital quantum number. What it tells? It tells us about the shape of the orbit and also the size of the orbit. And 4 pi mc, m is our mass of the electron and c is our the speed of the orbit. In the same way, the magnetic moment due to the spinning electron, as I told you, the electron is in, uh, it is spin on its own. Not only the revolving, even though it spins. In that case, the formula we write for the magnetic moment of the spinning electron that is EH divided by 4 pi mc. Here, just the orbital quantum number is going to skip. Whereas the magnetic moment due to the spinning nucleus, that means the nucleus is also spinning on its own axis. Therefore, I can write the formula that is EH divided by 4 pi mc. That is what a mass of proton 
the essay refers for the uh, speed of the light. Okay, this is about the atomic level of the magnetism. That means inside the atom, there is an existence of the spinning of electron, revolving of electron, spinning of the nucleus, the net magnetic moment of one atom is this. Therefore, this system has the magnetic material. Where this system we can make as a magnetic material by inducing some of the extra magnetic field. That means this material, if I keep under the extra magnetic field, in that case what happens? It starts aligning or being on that. That means whatever the right direction of the magnet was there, in that case, automatically it starts all the magnetic material one direction. That means even though the non-magnetic material, we can make it as a material by inducing an extra magnetic field to the given material. So this is what about the uh, atomic level. It is you should understand. Now coming to the next point, that is what earth um, also behaves as a magnet. Okay, earth also. Behaves as a How we are saying that Earth is also behaving as a So if I draw, this is our part. Just assume there is a magnetic compass placed in the center of the earth. Just a little magnetic. This is our earth, and we have placed the magnetic compass at the center of the earth. In that case, this is our North Geography, this is our South Geography. This axis, which we call it as the Geographical Axis. This is our ge Geographical Axis of the Earth. Now, whereas, this axis is the magnetic axis. This is our magnetic axis. Just remember the magnetic axis and the earth, that is what the geographic axis can ever intersect. They are many at a certain angle, that is what up to the 15 degrees to angle difference in the correct. This is our geographic axis, this is our magnetic axis. This is our geographic north, this is our geographic south of the earth. We have placed a magnet at the center of the earth. That means what pole should occur in this? It should have the south. That is what the magnetic south pole whereas this is our magnetic north pole. Then only it starts attracting. As I told you, if I write the north, north north it starts attracting. But it does not ripple, it starts deflecting or uh, aligned towards the north itself because of earth behaves as a magnet. Okay? Therefore the magnetic compass which is having the south near to the north, geographic north, and the magnetic north should have the geographic south. And can you know, geographic axis, magnetic axis cannot intersect each other. It is by, by making an angle 15 degree reach. And then also 15 degrees to difference into that geographic axis there. This is our geographic axis. This is our magnetic axis of the magnetic geographic axis of the earth. 
So, as I told you, the earth behaves as a magnet into this. And what I told you starts in this direction. Not to so. Yeah. So what to do? North stars. We are not in the south. Okay, so this is how the earth behaves as a magnet. Therefore, earth itself has the magnetic field. Sir, so, you are saying earth is a magnet having the magnetic field. If earth has a magnetic field, it will have attracted all the magnets. So just I was talking about earth behaves as a magnet because this is a magnetic compass which is in this place where the center of the earth and this is our the surface of the earth. This is our geographic axis, this is our magnetic axis. But there is an angle between the geographic axis and the magnetic axis how much angle it is it will be much angle. Whereas the pole of this magnetic compass should have the south so that it can attract the magnet. The magnetic compass of the this end has a having the north pole so that it can attract the south, that is south geography. Therefore, these are all the axis. And the directions of the magnetic field is from north to south, whereas inside the bar magnet it is coming from south to north. Okay, this is our directions of the magnetic field inside, this is the directions of the magnetic field also. So now if we are saying earth behaves as a magnet, if earth is a behaves as a magnet, then it should attract all the iron. Whatever the resources present from the earth should attract by the earth itself. That's all. So what is the reason? What is not attracting all the materials by the earth? So that we shall be talking. So this uh, this. Field is measured in Tesla. What is the event of the magnetic field? That is what? The Tesla. Here, the magnetic field of the bar magnet is having 0 0.01 Tesla. That is the average value of the magnetic field of the earth. Yes, sir. 
because here the earth is not going to attract by the materials because of less just in that 15 micro tesla that is on the surface of the earth the magnetic field is only this much now compared to these two that means this value and this value this is the greater that means this bar magnet is having 200 times stronger the power magnet to the end is 200 times greater than this one. Therefore, earth is not going to attract by any material. Okay? So, this is how the magnetic materials talks about earth behaves as a magnet. Even though, in case of, from where the magnetic field is going to arise in the earth, because the earth consists of the molten iron. That means, at the core of the earth, inner core and outer core, there are and the materials, that is, what the molten irons are present. Because of those conventional current, because of the current, there is a magnetic field exists. Therefore, one chapter we have studied in the previous uh, lower classes that is what the magnetic field of electric current, the effect of the magnetic field of the electric current. Due to the electric current, there is a magnetic field produced. Due to the magnetic field, there is an electric current produces. Therefore, the earth behaves as a magnet and it has a very less strength, just it has a 50 micro tesla. Whereas the strength of the magnetic field of the bar magnet is 0 0.01 tesla, compared to this, 200 times stronger. This is a 200 times stronger than the our earth magnetic field. Therefore, the earth cannot attract all the materials. And just imagine, as I told you, earth behaves as a magnet. In that case, north to north geography and south geography is going to switch off. When it is going to switch out, that is what? About 200,000 to 300,000 years ago. So this much here, the earth is going to switch from north to south, south to north. For this much year, always the earth is going to switch their magnet from north to south or south to north. Therefore, our heart has a 4.5 million years. Our heart has 4.5 million years. Okay? So, till now, we have studied the properties of the magnets, properties of the magnetic field, how the heart behaves as a magnet, and the uh, atomic level of the magnetism. Okay? And the strength of our earth and the strength of our body.